all the iPhone users, how often do you see this? This and this. But here's a solution for running out of the memory in all the iOS devices. This is SanDisk iExpand mini flash drive. This is a solution for all your problems with iOS devices is running low on memory. This particular version is of 128 GB and it is compatible with iPhone and iPad. By default it comes with x file format system so you need not format it again. Okay, let's cut it open and see what's inside it. This is the device, it's uh, hardly a size of a typical pen drive. inches to be precise we've got a cap like a protector for the lightning dock and yeah this is the lightning connector and this is the USB typical this is my 16 GB iPhone and let's connect it and check out how it works after connecting go to the app store and type sandisk i expand mini drive download it This is the home screen of iExpand app. Go to copy files, select copy photos from phone. Your camera roll will be displayed over here. Choose the option select all if you want to copy all of the content. And hit copy to iExpand drive. Give it a desired file name. In this case, I am naming it as file still main. Click OK and select the option copy here. Takes good amount of time to proceed. There you can see copying 333 files. I'll just leave it there. Alright, uh, it took me around uh, 5 minutes to copy almost 4 GB of memory all right let's go back and check whether the photos are copied or not let's hit the option view photos or view files let's go to files till may and i guess yes the app is kind of slow it definitely needs an improvement you can also copy music if you want to and as you can see the videos and the photos are assigned separately that's nice let's go back to copy files and hit copy files from iExpand drive back to iPhone 
that's a uh, folder yeah file still made let's uh, select a file randomly I'll, I think I'll go with this one copy to iPhone okay uh, let's go back to the camera library check whether it's there or not and yes it's there it's working perfectly all right uh, let's select the camera option over here and yes uh, you can take photos directly within the app and videos as well that's a nice feature The app also shows uh, free space in your iPhone and uh, available space in the iXpand drive as well. You can also send files from other apps to iXpand app using ShareSheet in your iOS device. The app also gives you suggestions to free up the space in your iPhone. You can also back up photos from your Facebook and Instagram account. You can also back up your contacts which is a very nice feature. But there is one big problem. This could be with my device or in any device. I am not sure about it. I cannot find the app in the home screen which I have already downloaded the app. So to open the app I need to go back to the app store and search for the app and then hit open option and it opens. I don't know it's strange really really strange well you can see I'll just hit the home button and boom it's gone the app is no more in my home screen and not even in the multitasking window so instead I need to go back to the app store and open it again and it's there they should definitely address this issue all right uh, let's connect it to the macbook and see how it works go to the finder and yeah nishan's expand file and yes the file is the files till may yes i can see all the files i've copied just now yes they are there the price of a sandisk ixpand flash drive is 5000 bucks but i've got it for 4100 on amazon because uh, there was some kind of off on my credit card at that point of time. In the age of 4K videos and uh, heavyweight apps, this is the device you definitely need to keep things going. I hope you like the review of this product. And also please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.